no. Before we start this video, the answer to your question is no. The question of, do you have to shake your two cycle mixed fuel? We were curious. So we took these glass jars and we put oil in the bottom, then we put fuel on top. We put fuel in the jar and then we put oil on top. And then we put these over on the shelf very delicately without shaking them and we let them sit for over a month. When we first put them together, you could see a little separation of where gas and oil was, but without us touching them at all, they blended by themselves. And the reason is because gasoline and mixing oil are non-polar. They readily mix and dissolve into each other, and that means that they are a homogeneous mixture and they don't unmix again. You know, most of us are similar with oil and vinegar, and that's something you shake it before you use it every time. And with your mix can, you can't see what's going on inside. You don't want something to go wrong and burn up your tool. So we understand why you would take such great care of your fuel and think about it and shake it because it is something that you're used to, but it is not something that you have to do. So the old grandpa myth of make sure you shake your gas before you put it in your two-stroke tool is officially busted. Once it's mixed, it is mixed for life. If you like this video and you like data and you like science, we're gonna put up two videos that we recommend you watch after this. They're two of our favorite videos. One of them is we take a string trimmer, we take the guard off, and we run the line at various lengths to heat up the motor and wear it out prematurely. The other is we are weighing various materials that would go in a dump trailer, and then we're extrapolating based on a five gallon bucket, how many five gallon buckets would go in each dump trailer. Even if you don't have dump trailers, still a cool video for the math. Hope you enjoy those videos. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.